Hi, um, I'm going to be taking you through our activity, which is macromolecule madness. So the objective is for you guys to create fun models of macromolecules and learn what they are and what they do. So what are macromolecules? Can you think of anything that is made up of smaller parts? This can be something like a house. A house is made up of, of a roof, um, doors, windows, and all of these come together to make a whole, which is the house. And that's basically what macromolecules are. They're little molecules put together to create a whole, which is the macromolecule. So what you're gonna be needing for this activity is parental supervision, toothpicks, and four different types or four different colors of Play-Doh or other air dry clays. So before we start, I'm gonna give you some background on different macromolecules there are. They are tiny structures, but they're also made up of even tinier structures, which are the molecules. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna tell you about the most well-known or the more well-known macromolecules. One of these are carbs. So carbs are made of car carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And these help give our body an energy boost. Our body digests these carbs and breaks them down into sugar, and our, which therefore gives us more energy. Um, lipids are also made out of oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen. And these help store energy for later until, until your body needs it. Um, so they take that energy that we get from the carbs, and if we don't use it, then they just store it in our body and wait until we use it for later. Proteins help make your body stronger, and they are made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Um, the, this is very important for sports or if you exercise or lift weights or anything. This protein is very important because it helps make your muscles stronger and helps maintain them. Lastly, there are nucleic acids, which are made out of ni nitrogen, oxygen, carbon, phosphorus, and hydrogen. And these make up your DNA. And DNA helps tell your cells what to do. Like they tell us if we are gonna get blonde or brown hair, green or blue eyes, and everything else that makes us who we are. So for the first step, you're gonna take a color. This can be any color. I'm gonna take blue, and you're gonna make these into small balls. So I'm taking this, this is my clay here. Um, and we're just gonna make small balls. So what you wanna do is take a piece and you're just gonna roll it up and make a little small ball. Very easy, very simple. And this is gonna be our carb, or our carbs. And you can make as many as you want, make them as big or small as you want. Um, but we're gonna form these into a shape in a second. I'm gonna make a lightning bolt, um, but you can make anything you want. You can make it into a circle, into a square, triangle, anything. So now I'm gonna take this and just start connecting them like this. They should stick together pretty easy and form them into whatever shape you so please. Now we have our carb. I tried to make a lightning bolt. Didn't come out the greatest, but that's what we got. And yeah, that's our carb. Next, um, for the next step, you're gonna choose another color and you're gonna mold this color into any shape of your choice. I'm gonna take pink right here and you're just gonna take it. You can make it into whatever you want. I'm gonna make mine into a cube. And remember, lipids are what help store energy in our body for later until we need to use it. I'm just kind of shaping it out here like this. I don't know if you can see that. You can see I have a little cube now and that's our lipid. And feel free to pause the video whenever you need, um, if you need more time to make these. 
for step three, you're going to choose another color to be the protein. So I'm going to use yellow and you're going to want to take this clay and make small balls out of them again. I have yep, the yellow right here. I'm just going to break this into, you can do have as many little clay balls as you want, but I'm just going to do four. Keep it simple and easy. And you're going to also take your toothpicks. You're going to have these with you. I have mine right here. A whole box of them. But you're going to be connecting these clay balls with the toothpicks. So now that you rolled it into a ball, I have multiple. You're going to take a toothpick and stick it on the end like that. Take your other one, stick it on the other end. Be careful not to poke yourself. Can be very dangerous sometimes. Um, and I'm just going to be making mine into a little square. And these are our proteins. If you play a sport of any sort, protein is definitely going to be important just so you can stay strong and healthy. As you can see right here, oh, <laughs> I have my little protein structure. And you can do this in any shape you want. Keep connecting them however many balls and toothpicks you want to use. But I just kept mine simple like this. Now, this is the last step, and this one can be a little complicated sometimes, but this one is going to be your nucleic acid. So you can choose any color. I'm taking red, and you're going to break these into your clay into two bowls like this. I'm going to roll it, roll it again, and roll it into two balls. Then you're going to take it. I'm going to show you how to do this because it can be a little difficult. And you're going to make them into little sticks and you just roll it on the table like this or you can take it between your hands and roll it like this but you're going to make it into little little sticks try to make it pretty thin just not too thin but good enough like so and we're going to make this one the same size and this one is our dna which helps tell our cells what to do. It gives us instructions. It's like a recipe. It gives us instructions on what we're going to be making, which is us, the person. <laughs> so now you have your little sticks, and we're going to lay these. I'm going to lay them this way. And you're going to make them into squiggly lines and just kind of shape it like this into a squiggly. And I'm going to do that same thing on this one. And you want them to look the same at first. Like this. And now that you have those, we're going to take this one and flip it over onto the other one. Oh, they're sticking a little bit. But you're going to flip it over onto the other one and fix it up so they're overlapping like this. And there you go. You got your helix, your little DNA. Kind of looks like a spiral. You might have seen this in your science classes. Um, but there you go. Very important to making who us who we are. Very cool, right? <laughs> so now we're going to discuss how do macromolecules work together and why are they important for our bodies? Feel free to pause the video if you want to take a second to think. Um, yeah. So macromolecules work together by giving us energy and strength. Uh, they impart, are important because they make us who we are and help us and allow our body to function. The proteins, the lipids, the carbs, the nucleic acids, all of them help our body and help us be who we are, help us work from day to day with our exercise, with eating, with moving, all of it. So we have this feedback and reflection. Oh wait, we don't need that. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Uh, I really hoped you liked exploring the cells and macromolecules. 
Have a great day. Um, if you want to stay updated with us, we have our website at www.sympathize.org, um, our Instagram at sympathize.us, and our YouTube, which you're watching right now. But um, all of these have a lot of good information about different STEM subjects if you're interested. Um, yeah.